Welcome to the spoken tutorial on create and edit shapes using Enscape. In this tutorial, we will familiarize ourselves with Enscape. We will learn about Enscape interface and how to create basic shapes, fill color and modify shapes using handles. For this tutorial, I am using Ubuntu Linux 12.04 OS, Enscape version 0.48.4. Go to Dash Home and type Inkscape. You can open Inkscape by double clicking on the logo. On the top of the interface, you will find the menu bar and tool controls bar. This is followed by rulers at the top and at the side. On the right side of the interface, you will find the command bar and snap controls bar. The toolbox is located on the left side of the interface. In the center is the canvas. This is where you will draw your graphics. At the bottom of the interface, we can see the color palette and the status bar. Now, let us learn to create and edit some basic shape in Enscape. First of all, we will learn about Select and Transform tool. It is commonly called as Selector tool. It is a very important tool. You will find it on the left hand side of the toolbox. With this tool, you can select objects, transform and move them around on the canvas. To open a new Enscape document, click on File and then choose New and click on Default. To open an existing Enscape document, click on File and then choose Open. Let's open the drawing underscore one dot SVG file that we created earlier. I had saved it in Documents folder. Click on open button at the bottom right. We created a rectangle earlier. Now click on the rectangle. By default, the color of the rectangle is green. To change the color to red, we will use the color palette at the bottom. So I will move the cursor to the bottom and click on red color. Observe the color change in the rectangle. Let us now move the rectangle. To do so, you should click anywhere on the rectangle. Now, without releasing the mouse button, drag it wherever you want on the canvas. Then, release the mouse button. Let us zoom in for a better view. To do so, press Ctrl key and use the scroll button on the mouse. Notice arrows around the rectangle. These are called handles, which we can use for scaling and rotating. When the cursor is kept on any of the handles, the color of the handle changes. This indicates that particular handle is selected and ready for resizing. To scale or resize the rectangle, click and drag on any one of the corner handles. If you want to keep the aspect ratio same, hold the control key while resizing. To change the length or the width of the rectangle, use one of the handles on the sides of the rectangle. Click and drag the handle either to the left or to the right. Observe the change in the width of the rectangle. Now let's change the height of the rectangle. So we will click and drag on either the top or the bottom handle. Observe the change in the height of the rectangle. We can also change the width and height of the rectangle manually by changing the width and height parameters on the tool controls bar. I will change the width to 400 and height to 200. Notice the change in the size of the rectangle. In a similar way, you can also move the object by changing the X and Y axis positions. Now, let us learn how to rotate the rectangle. To do so, click on the rectangle once again. Notice that now the shape of the corner handles has changed to indicate that is ready for rotation. I will click on the top right corner handle and rotate the rectangle. You can also skew the rectangle by clicking and dragging any of the side handles. I am clicking the left middle handle and dragging it up and down to skew the rectangle. Observe the changes as I do so. 
We will learn some more details on using these handles in another tutorial. Let us unselect this shape now. To do so, click anywhere in the canvas area or outside the canvas boundary. Let me move the mouse back to the toolbox and over the same rectangle tool. The tool tip says that we can draw rectangles and squares using this tool. So, first let me click on this tool. To draw a square, simply hold the control key and drag on the canvas. Let me change its color to pink. An assignment for you. Select the Create Circles and Ellipses tool from the toolbox. Use the control key, draw a circle on the canvas. Color it blue. This is my circle. Now let's learn how to modify this circle. You can change the start and the end parameters to alter the shape of the circle to an arc or a segment. There are three options here on the tool control bar which helps to switch between the shapes. Let me change the start parameter to 100 and end parameter to minus 50. We see that the circle shape has now changed to a segment shape. Now I will click on arc icon and we see the change in the shape. We can change back to circle shape again by clicking on the circle icon. Now let's take a closer look at the circle shape on our canvas. Notice two resize handles and two arc handles on the shape. The two resize handles can be used to alter the shape of the circle to an ellipse shape. Just drag these handles in the up down or left right directions. Observe the changes in the shape. The two arc handles overlap each other. Click on the arc handle and move in anti-clockwise. We can now see both the arc handles. We can modify the circle shape into arc or segment shape using these arc handles. Just by moving them in clockwise or anti-clockwise directions and observe the change in the shape. Now we will click on the rectangle tool in the toolbox and then click on the square. Notice two resize handles and two arc handles on the top right corner of the shape. As before, the two arc handles overlap each other. Click on one of the arc handle and move it clockwise. Now we can see both the arc handles. We can give rounded edges to the square using these handles. Move them in clockwise or anti-clockwise directions and observe the change in the shape. Now, let's create a polygon by clicking on the stars and polygons tool from the toolbox. This is right below the circle tool. So, click on it. We will draw a polygon in a similar way and change the color to green. By default, a five-sided polygon that is a pentagon is drawn. Look at the tool controls bar. Here it says, the number of corners of the polygon is 5. You can create a square by decreasing the number to 4 and a triangle by decreasing it to 3. By increasing it, we can create a pentagon, hexagon and so on. Notice a resize handle on the polygon. We can use it to resize or rotate the polygon. Convert this shape into a star shape by clicking on the star icon next to the polygon icon in the tool controls bar. Notice two handles on the star shape, one at the tip and one at the joint. Click and drag the handle at the tip of the star to resize or rotate it. We can resize and skew the shape of the star using the other handle. Click on it and move in clockwise or anti-clockwise directions and observe the change in the shape and size. We have come to the end of this tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned about Inkscape interface. We also learned to create basic shapes like rectangle, square, circle, ellipse, polygon and star. Fill colors into the shapes and modify the shapes using handles. Here is an assignment for you. Create a rectangle shape filled with blue color a circle shape filled with red color, a star with seven sides in green color.
your completed assignment should look like this. Watch the video available at the following link. It summarizes the spoken tutorial project. If you do not have good bandwidth, you can download and watch it. The spoken tutorial project team conducts workshops using spoken tutorials, gives certificates for those who pass an online test. For more details, please write to contact at spoken-tutorial.org. Spoken Tutorial Project is a part of the Talk to a Teacher project. It is supported by the National Mission on Education through ICT, MHRD, Government of India. More information on this mission is available at spoken-tutorial.org slash NME ICT hyphen intro. We have come to the end of this tutorial. This is Arti and Saurabh from IIT Bombay signing off. Thanks for joining.